हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वीकली करंट अफेयर्स क्विज लेट्स बिगिन टूडेज क्विज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ लॉन्ग डिड डॉक्टर जाकिर हुसैन लिव्ड 73 थ्री ईयर्स सेवेंटी टू ईयर्स सेवेंटी वन ईयर्स और सिक्सटी नाइन ईयर्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी सेवेंटी टू ईयर्स डॉक्टर जाकिर हुसैन वॉज बॉर्न इन हैदराबाद स्टेट इन सेंट्रल इंडिया ऑन एट फेबररी एटीन नाइनटी सेवन He was an Indian economist and politician who served as the third president of India from 13 May 1967 until his death on 3 May 1969. He was the first Muslim to hold the largely ceremonial position of president of India. Next question is which country is ranked second in the 21st edition of the World Press Freedom Index? India, Netherlands, Ireland or China? The correct answer is option C, Ireland. Recently the 21st edition of the World Press Freedom Index has been released. This index is compiled annually by Reporters Without Borders. Norway is ranked first for the 7th year running. India's ranking has slipped to 161 out of 180 countries. A non-Nordic country is ranked second, namely Ireland, up 4 places at the second, ahead of Denmark, down 1 place at third. Next question is Vivad Se Vishwas scheme is related to skill development taxation system micro small and medium enterprises or land tenancy act the correct answer is option c micro small and medium enterprises the department of expenditure ministry of finance has launched the scheme vivad se vishwas one relief to msmes the scheme aims to provide relief to micro small and medium enterprises for covid-19 period the scheme was announced in the union budget 2023-24 by union finance minister Next question is consider the following statements with reference to panel for LGBTQIA+ community. 1 it will be headed by the cabinet secretary. 2 it will coordinate various ministries to address issues concerning same sex couples. Which of the above given statement or statements is or are correct? 1 only 2 only both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C both 1 and 2. Recently center agreed to set up a committee that will be headed by the cabinet secretary to address issues faced by LGBTQIA+ community issues concerning same sex couples would need coordination between more than one ministry so therefore a committee headed by no less than the cabinet secretary will be constituted next question is which of the following has the highest score among the hill states in the national manufacturing innovation survey 2021-22 हिमाचल प्रदेश उत्तराखंड सिक्किम और अरुणाचल प्रदेश द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी उत्तराखंड रिसेंटली द नेशनल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इनोवेशन सर्वे 2021-22 कंडक्टेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट्स डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इन कोलैबोरेशन विद द यूनाइटेड नेशंस इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डीएसटी रैंक कर्नाटका फॉलोड बाय तेलंगाना तमिलनाडु महाराष्ट्र एंड हरियाणा एज हाई इनोवेशन स्टेट्स उत्तराखंड हैज द हाइएस्ट स्कोर अमंग द हिल स्टेट्स while dadra and nagar haveli and daman and diu has the highest score among the uts next question is the center has extended the time to submit joint options to claim higher provident fund pension till which date may 15 june 1st june 15 or june 26 the correct answer is option d june 26 the center has extended the time to submit joint options to claim higher provident fund pension till june 26 The deadline to submit the applications was on May 3rd. This is the second time that the center extended the date for submissions. Next question is she was India's first female judge and the first woman in the country to become a high court judge. She has been described as first generation feminist. Who among the following has been described in the lines given above? Anna Chandi, Sujata Manohar, Fatima Bivi or Ruma Pal? The correct answer is option A, Anna Chandi. Justice Anna Chandi was India's first female judge and the first woman in the country to become a high court judge. Anna Chandi has been described as first generation feminist. She became the first woman judge in the Indian District Court in 1937. Next question is which of the following Central Public Sector Enterprises or CPSCs have Navratn status? 1 Rail Vikas Nigam Limited, 2 Airports Authority of India, 3 Mahanagar Telephone Nigam Limited. Options are one and two only, one and three only, one and two only, or one, two and three. The correct answer is option B, one and three only. Recently, the Department of Public Enterprises declared Navratn status to RVNL, that is Rail Vikas Nigam Limited. With this announcement, RVNL becomes the thirteenth Navratn amongst the CPSCs. 
MTNL has been given Navratna status in 1997 and Airports Authority of India is a Mini Ratna Category 1 public sector enterprise. Next question is heat index is a combined effect of humidity and sunlight, heat and sunlight, sunlight and moisture or relative humidity and air temperature. The correct answer is option D relative humidity and air temperature. The India Meteorological Department has said that India will launch its own heat index next year. Heat index is a combined effect of relative humidity and air temperature. Along with temperature and humidity, India's heat index will integrate other parameters such as wind and duration of exposure. Next question is who was selected as 14th President of the World Bank Group by its Board of Executive Directors? David R. Malpass, Ajay Banga, Eugene Mayer or Kristalina Georgieva? The correct answer is option B, Ajay Banga. The executive directors of the World Bank selected Ajay Banga as president of the World Bank for a five-year term beginning June 2, 2023. Ajay Banga most recently served as vice chairman at General Atlantic. Previously, he was president and CEO of MasterCard, a global organization with nearly 24,000 employees. Next question is consider the following statements with reference to Food Street Project. 1. The project aims to develop 100 healthy and hygienic food streets across the country. 2. The technical assistance will include training under hazard analysis and critical control points protocol. Which of the above statement or statements is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. Recently, Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare reviewed the food street project to develop 100 healthy and hygienic food streets across the country. To operationalize the food streets, the National Health Mission of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare will provide an assistance of Rs 1 crore per food street as a pilot project. The technical assistance will include assistance in designing of food streets, preparation of an SOP and providing training under hazard analysis and critical control points that is HACCP protocol. Next question is the name of the first cyclone of 2023 cyclone Mocha is recommended by which of the following country? Iran, Myanmar, Oman or Yemen? The correct answer is option D, Yemen. As per the India Meteorological Department, a low pressure area formed over southeast Bay of Bengal. Upon its intensification into a cyclonic storm, the system was named Cyclone Mocha. This name recommended by Yemen originates from the Yemeni city Mocha located on the Red Sea coast. Next question is recently the legal entity identifier system was introduced by which of the following? SEBI, RBI, SBI or ICICI Bank? The correct answer is option A, SEBI. Recently, SEBI introduced legal entity identifier system for issuers that have listed or planning to list non-convertible securities, securitized debt instruments and security receipts. It is a unique global identifier for legal entities participating in financial transactions. It is designed to create a global reference data system that uniquely identifies every legal entity in any jurisdiction that is party to a financial transaction. Next question is World Red Cross and Red Crescent Day is observed on which date? May 5, 6, 7 or 8? The correct answer is option D, May 8. 8 May is World Red Cross and Red Crescent Day. It is a global day to celebrate the uniqueness and unity of International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement. 8th May is eventually chosen because it is the anniversary of the birth of the founder of the International Committee of the Red Cross, Henry Dunant. Next question is, when was the Border Roads Organization set up? April 1952, May 1960, May 1958 or February 1950? The correct answer is option B, May 1960. Recently, Border Roads Organization organized Ekta Evam Shraddhanjali Abhiyan a multimodal expedition as a part of 64th BRO Day celebrations. The BRO was formed on 7th May 1960 to secure India's borders and develop infrastructure in remote areas of the north and northeast states of the country. Mr. X, a practicing chartered accountant, bought an immovable property on behalf of his client, Mr. Y. What can be the possibilities of this action on Mr. X? He could possibly face penalty for non-compliance, he could also have potential run-ins with investigative agencies like Enforcement Directorate. This will be considered into the ambit of the money laundering law or all of the above. The correct answer is option D, all of the above.
notifying changes to the prevention of money laundering act the finance ministry has brought in practicing chartered accountants company secretaries and cost and works accountants carrying out financial transactions on behalf of their clients into the ambit of money laundering law widening of the definition of entities under the ambit of pmla has given rise to concerns amongst financial professionals that they could possibly not just face penalty for non compliance but could also have potential run-ins with investigative agencies like enforcement directorate next question is consider the following statements with reference to petersburg climate dialogue one it is a bi annual high level political and international forum two the pcd was hosted by germany and the united arab emirates which of the statement given above is or are incorrect one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option a one only The Petersburg Climate Dialogue or PCD is an annual high level political and international forum. The Petersburg Dialogue on Climate Change was held in Berlin from May 2 to 3, 2023. It was hosted by Germany and the United Arab Emirates, which is hosting the 28th Conference of Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Next question is the capturing of attendance of Manrega workers was made compulsory via the app for all work sites. with how many minimum workers 10 20 30 or 40 the correct answer is option b 20 the rural development ministry is now considering providing a text confirmation of attendance to manrega workers at the end of each work day or the end of one work schedule the union government started a pilot project to capture attendance via a mobile application the national mobile monitoring system from may 16 2022 capturing attendance via the app was made compulsory for all work sites with 20 or more workers next question is class struggle is a characteristic of which philosophy one marxism two capitalism options are only one only two both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option a only one marxism is a body of doctrine developed by karl marx marx theory of class struggle is one of the most original contribution to the body of political thought the concept of class has been used by many political thinkers before karl marx but that is credited with giving it as systematic and philosophical treatment last question is buddh purnima falls on the full moon day of which of the following hindu month magh kartik vaishak or basant the correct answer is option c vaishak buddh purnima usually falls in the hindu month of vaishak on the full moon day usually between april and may buddh purnima commemorates the birth anniversary of lord gautam buddha revered as the founding figure of buddhism this year marks the 2585th birth anniversary of gautam buddh so that's all for today do share your scores and reviews about the program thanks for watching